child a little like we about to get a surviving crystal special soon let's get into it hey guys it's lady t welcome back to my channel in a shocking or maybe not so shocking revelation, Moni Martin, who's the ex-wife of Chris Stokes, have released a statement confirming the assault allegations against her former husband. Martin married Stokes in 2004, have come forward to the allegedly confirmed the allegations of intimate acts that have been levered against Stokes. In her statement, Martin wrote, I married him in 2004, just days before I gave birth to my fourth child. He had been faced with accusations of intimate acts that I know to be true. Both parties are unwilling to come forward and confirm them. I can confirm he committed these acts and it begins with acknowledging what I didn't want to accept. I married a predator of these crimes. She further added, now it's time for me to liberate my spirit and open up about it. For the past two and a half years, I dedicated time to self-improvement, working on my mental, physical, and emotional well-being, often in solitude. At this point, my heart desire is for every victim, including myself, to heal and live long, healthy, productive lives. I seek justice. Morton even hashtag Marky Houston name in the statement. A lot of people are wondering why is she coming out now? Because it had been, what, 18 years? Because this date back all the way to 2007. Raz B from B2K publicly alleged that he and the other members of B2K was intimately assaulted by Chris Stokes. Like I'm the crazy nigga and them niggas don't want to stand here and back me up but y'all calling my phone. Like I'm cool. I don't got nothing to get you. I don't got nothing to get the boys but like Fizz still to this day never said sorry. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's never really said, Raz, I really got your back. Thank you. Because you know what, Boog? I mean, me and Boog, me and Boog was in a room together. Chris Stokes put us in a room together and made us do stuff together. You feel me? Me and Jarrell, Houston. So it's like I've been protecting people for a long time. I have nothing to lose. I have no one to fear. And it's just, it's tacky. And I don't give a fuck about B2K. Fuck B2K. You know what I'm saying? I am B2K. And and if, if shit ever going to get right, niggas going to have to come... Come clean, cause you're not gonna live. You're not gonna. You're not gonna sweep every, anything under the rug. I was molested by Chris Stokes and Mark Houston, and that's just that's the truth. Period. And that's the truth, and you can say that to you. I think it gets kind of messy when you gotta put other people's truth out there. I don't think that's your place to judge other people. Well, my truth, my my truth is, is the fact that Chris Stokes had me and Jarrell Houston in a room sucking each other's dicks. My truth is that. Hold on, hold on, Judy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My truth is that. Jay Boog has sex with fucking Leslie. You get what I'm saying? So I'm dealing with everybody's blaming, pointing the finger at me, but ain't nobody backing me. So this ain't nothing that you can do. This ain't have, this only have nothing to do with you. You cannot mean that just because you haven't got the film the same shot. Like they haven't even shot none of the I don't baby, I don't even care about that film. I'm producing the Boogaloo Kid. The movie's already funded, all eight percent of the movie. I don't care. I'm not tripping off the movie. I'm talking about the principle, and you know what I'm talking about, because you're a God fearing woman. You know what spiritual warfare we're fighting. But on the principle, you haven't been left out. We just haven't got West Coast anything filmed yet. Everything's been on hold since they've been back. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, tri I'm not tripping, but I, I got a problem with Fizz. Fizz, Fizz, I got a problem with Fizz. What's the problem? See, I got a problem with Fizz, because Fizz is the first person to take it in his fucking asshole, and he want to make it seem like I'm a motherfucking homo, and like I'm crazy, and like there's a problem, like I did something to him. I never did anything to nobody. Some random, some tapes got out. And we all know what that was about. Obviously, it was in God's will. I just talked to Quinnen. Dude, if you... I just talked to Quinnen for the first time last night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Quinnen is the same same dude who went through the same shit we walked through. Yeah, yeah. And in Vibe Magazine. Wait till you hear his testimony. So, I feel bad for Bug. I feel bad for Fizz. I feel bad for Amari. I feel bad for Marcus Houston. I feel bad for Jerome Jones. I feel bad for all these kids that want to sweep this shit under the rug and act like this shit's okay. What Chris Stokes did. I show so much compassion for everyone, but niggas just spit on me enough. And I'm done with it. The public's reaction to Morton's statement have been mixed. While some are shocked that she is now speaking out, others are very supportive of her decision to finally break her silence. Many are hopeful that her courage in the coming forward will inspire the alleged victims to do the same. Others are wondering if Morton possibly got herself into some deep legal trouble considering what she revealed 
if she ever was questioned by law enforcement or took the stand for her husband in the past, couldn't she be possibly sued or face a trial now? Does knowing someone is committing an alleged crime but choosing not to say anything means that the person should be held accountable as well? Morton's revelation have once again brought the allegations against Chris Stokes into the spotlight. As the public digests this news, the hope is that justice will be served and healing can begin for all those have been allegedly affected. The impact of Morton's statement extends beyond the alleged individuals directly involved. It also served as a reminder of the importance of speaking out against abuse and the power of the truth in pursuit of justice. It also highlighted the courage it takes for victims just to come out for it and share their experience. As this story continues to unfold, it's important to keep an eye on how this develops. Will there be any type of legal repercussions for Stokes? Is his ex-wife telling the truth? Will other victims come for it? How will this impact the broader conversation around assault and accountability? This is the season of exposure and I am all here for it. By the time fall of 2024 get around here, she going to be a raggedy bitch with no edges. These predators have been getting away with their deviancy for years and thought they was invincible. But look at them now. They've been chopping down left and right on the main stage and rightfully so. 2024 is just getting started and people are going to be shocked at some of the people who will be on a chopping block for the next 11 months. And I'm wondering what's going to be dropping next month. Because whatever it is, we're going to be talking about it on this channel. Now for years, allegations of essay have been attached to Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston. Now my thing is, why is she making internet statements instead of compiling the evidence and sending them to the police? Where was she when his alleged victims was crying out? in pain Quentin Tauver and Rasby now we all seen what Rasby went through and his deterioration of mental health while his former bandmates and Stokes and Houston they gas like that boy and as far as Quentin he lost his life due to a car accident but when he was alive that baby was fighting through some demons B2K came out in 2002 she was married to him in 2004. Rasby started talking about what happened to him in 2007. And according to court documents, I had looked it up. Chris had filed for divorce in 2009. Now, she was there doing their prime. So she had to see some things. 18 to 20 years is a very long time to sit on information that you knew children was being groomed in SA by your ex-husband. But better late than never, I guess. Hopefully she have information to prove that will put this man behind bars and get his victim some justice. I hope this is about telling exactly what happened and not about her using these secrets as some type of leverage to get a big payout. I'm not going to lie. I love the fact that she hashtag Marcus Houston's name. He over there posted baby pics with his uh, groom bride. I ain't going to lie. The kids are cute. That little bit, that little new baby, the little boy, he looks just like his daddy. Lord have mercy. But anyway, I mean, let all this B2K drama be revisited and focus on these predators. I suspect that Houston was the first to get indoctrinated and was used to turn off the other ones. And the scarier thing is that Stokes and Houston went into hiding and playing the role as this real form godly men inside one of the worst pedophile enablers protecting cults in the world. I don't doubt if they have more victims and they just so happen to join a religious community that will gladly protect their crime. I highly doubt if anything will be done unless other victims that we don't know of willing to step forward. The ones that we know of they also work for him, with him, and run to him seeking help when they are in need. At this point, guys, do we start to shame the people that knew but stay quiet? You decide to stay quiet for all these years when the money was good. Now that it's drying up from what it looks like child support, now it's time to talk. You turn the other cheek for your benefit. Rather, it was for money or just to be in that circle, that in circle. You sat there and you ate your food while witnessing this mess. If you didn't say anything then, you're just as guilty. 
You knew your ex-husband was a child predator, allegedly. And you remained to, to, to still be married to him. So to me, in my eyes, you just as vile and disgusting human being just like him. I'm sorry, but she doesn't get any props from coming out now, in my opinion. Because again, there was children during that time. Children. She saw that he was an alleged piece of ish predator. And if you notice, most of them guys that he used to manage, all of them are broken in some type of way. So now that Christo's ex-wife have came forward... And came out about all this information and confirmed everything that we already knew about him and Marcus Houston. Rasby, B2K, IMX, Half Pint, Quentin Tauber, and so many more. Is it finally time for that surviving Chris Stokes and surviving Marcus Houston? Tell me in the comments. If you or someone that you know have been affected by sexual violence, it's not your fault. You are not alone. Help is available 24-7 through the National SA Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE or visit their online hotline. All right, guys, I want to hear your thoughts on the story. So let's continue the conversation in the comment section. And as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And thanks for watching.